What's going on, golf fans? I'm getting out here. We're out on the course. I got my smoke green hat on. And we're going to do some ball flies. We're going to play the nine holes. I'm going to show you exactly how to play them. I'm going to put some big numbers out there and rip it off the tee. Basically, I'm going to show you exactly what's going on in my game right now. And in true form, I rushed onto the tee. I was a little bit behind on time because I'm trying to do a million things at once. And I blew it way right off the first. Right out of the middle, but blew it way right. Fortunately, no issue. All right, second shot in the first hole. We're in the fairway, the wrong one, but we're in the fairway. I got a 130 straight into the wind, downhill. So I'm just gonna clip in a little cutter wedge. It's been a little bit of rain, so it should hold the green pretty good. And we don't wanna miss right, do not miss right. Alright guys, we're gonna hold it there. I'm under par, we'll take that as a win, we'll call it there. <laughs> no, but we are gonna try to take it deep. So I hit that little knock down four iron off the tee. Didn't quite cut the way that I wanted, so we are in the first cut. All good. Got about 155. This time we're slightly uphill, but slightly downwind. So I'm just gonna nuke a wedge. Ah. Didn't quite compress it the way that we needed to, so just up on the lip. But missed on the right side, so it's got a pretty simple little chip shot down the green. We're already one under. Defense now, defense. Now, offense. Alright, we're back on that little too long slant neck. Feeling good, but I probably shouldn't have 15 feet for power after that chip shot. But see if we roll her in. So you birdied first, then make a dumb ass bogey on the second. Well, got a shot par three now and then two par five. So it's time to make some birds. So, seen some good variety already. Birdie, bogey, par. That hole's playing super short, didn't really play the wind as downwind, so got it on line, but it's too far. Two putt, now it's time to let loose on the tee. Now that was good. Part five, so here's uphill. It's about 600 yards. Got a good one off the tee, felt real nice. Just hit three wood then, tried to drill in a little low draw. Didn't quite get all of it, but we're in a good spot right now. So wind's mostly into, no, sorry, mostly off the left, slightly into. We should have a little pitch and a putt to get back on the par. All right, 20 shot of green. Found ourselves a tough little wedge shot. So we're gonna go up over the bunker. The flag's just on top of a tier. So really gonna fly on. Check it up a little bit, release up the slope, 
stop next to the flag, tap it in. So the wedge game is a little rusty. That's kind of being nice. But that was actually pretty well played. It just released out further than I expected. Came in, tried to check it up, just tunnel on through. But managed to drop a putt, so we're back under par, one under. Swing is on go. Got a new bullet of a two iron. This is a par five, dog leg downhill, right to left, winds off the right, downwind. There's a ditch about 310, so I didn't want to take driver. I could have carried it, but you know. Didn't want to take three wood in case I just nuked it. So with two iron, right there, I knew I could hit it as hard as I wanted to, let it turn over and be in great shape. So I told you about that ditch about 310. I did nuke that two iron. Might have got a pretty decent bounce, but we're pretty close. So yeah, that was two iron wedge into a par five. Plain shot, what a win, downhill, whatever. It is what it is. Pushed it, pin high, great swing actually, but did push it more than I wanted to. So now I just gotta get it down to two, take it to two under. So, one the sixth hole, two under through five. It's pretty good, three birdies on stupid bogey. Of course, he's, he's playing pretty favorable, had a good wind, we had some rain, so the greens are soft, we're running pretty good. But, gonna be pretty happy with that. So, obviously swing is feeling pretty solid. I put up a video not too long ago about the one playing style, how it's working for me, what I do to make it work, and whether y'all can uh, benefit too. Check it out. It's a pretty simple way to go. Just allows me to focus on my body turn, knowing that the club's gonna come back pretty neutral. And it takes away my old habit, which is a terrible habit. I'm just getting stuck underneath and hitting massive, big block rights. And then up and all. All right, so go check that one out. I'm on board the sixth, par three. It's kind of in between clubs. Come up slightly short. Got about 25, 30 footer. Let's see if we got roll one in. I got a little excited for the camera and tried to jump on a bit too much. So I took one pretty close down the left hand side. Hence why you got two ball flights. One where I just didn't swing too good. And then a little provisional ball, I did announce, where I absolutely smoked and it went a mile. Worth watching. I enjoyed that one. I enjoyed it a lot. We definitely left, but we're in play, just. Train hard, think about one play and swing. Oh, 
That's my tee shot. That sucker went a long way. Yeah, it was downwind. Perfect setup for me. But still, absolutely nuked it. Now, if you like ball flights, and I'm assuming you kind of do if you're watching this video, and that one should have got y'all just a little bit excited because, woo, got me fired up. That little cut stinger, got a sharp dog leg left to right, the wind's off the right, so I just jam that two iron way back in the stance, hold the face, hit down, and just let it cut against that wind. It was delightful. All right, it's so approach to the eight. We're two under. Got through that power on the seven. This is a green layer. We're into the wind, so you gotta be careful with a wedge, you don't just puff it up there, get too much spin. We come up short, but this fits my eye. We got a 125 into the wind, gonna just knock that pitching wedge down. One of my favorite clubs, man. He's got some work to do. Oh, we gotta go make another birdie. All right, let's get it under. Average shot into the eighth. Yeah, we got another birdie putt, but we got work to do. That's a really pretty long one, so. I mean, we've all been on lockdown. There's only been so much time on the course. I managed to keep working on the swing and on the body. And I'm pretty stoked to say that my ball striking is probably better than ever. Certainly on a consistency standpoint, I can hit greens. I'm hitting fairways. It looks pretty good, so. Might be time to do a little short game work. Hey, I'm a busy guy. We all got love just beating on balls. But still, hard work pays off. speed on it as well flag tucked it up went down we all good and just kind of find a little bit of something in the stroke there a little bit more natural with the release of the hands trying to just been trying to guide it pretty much as i've gone through the round that one we just let it go hey dumped it all right so we dropped an unexpected birdie on the eighth to be fair that t-shot stinger probably deserved it now we're on the ninth hole this is a tough par three it's not too long we're playing about 170 today it's straight into the wind, but a green is pretty difficult. It's kind of an upturn thing, lots of runoffs. So really, you need to be getting it on the green. We've got front flag. So knocking up in the air, a little bit extra spin. Should come down pretty soft, but if you leave it short, it's going to be a, be a pretty tricky little pitch. All right, so three under. We've had four birdies. That stupid bogey back in the second. Really happy with how I'm playing. Got to sharpen up that short game, but we good. I haven't needed a bus today, which is... Uh, you know, that kind of works. So, let's hit this green, get done. Oh. Ah, didn't cover it the way that I wanted to. Hit the shot that I said not to. And now we gotta get up and down. So, it's the end of the first nine hole course vlog that we're gonna do. Three under par, four birdies, one bogey. That's pretty cool, pretty happy about that. And I do wanna do a lot more of these. Obviously, we're still under certain conditions given COVID, but trying to get out to other courses, play with some other guys out here on YouTube, whatever else, and basically keep working on my game and keep trying to give back to y'all, all right? So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe make sure you hit that subscribe button guys tell your friends and tell them this is where you come to drop some bomb 
yeah guys so obviously we've got training we've got the app dropping out real real soon when this video comes out we're going to be a matter of hours away we got a whole bunch of other stuff going on guys all right this is going to be the biggest community in golf fitness online it is going to be the strongest movement in golf make sure you're part of it make sure you subscribe help us out wherever you can on the uh, on the youtube tell your friends once more and when you go play tear it up